dope I said fuck you with him for What's going on, Flex family, Master Flex in the motherfucking building, and welcome back to the Master Flex podcast. I am your host, Master Flex Keon, and today we're going to be talking about girl gamers. Oh, boy. This is a really serious thing. Before we get into that, you want to check out the original podcast, the link in the description down below, go and check it out, and um, let's get five likes this video, and uh, let's talk about this. So anyway... Girl gamers start playing Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Wars, Cold War, etc., etc., right? <clears throat> but when it comes to Call of Duty, it's going to get very, very intense when it comes to Call of Duty. Let's just be honest here. I just don't want girl gamers to get hurt and get their feelings hurt. And not take it. I'm not because girl gamers are not taking it serious when it comes to Call of Duty. I mean, when it comes to the games like this, people will talk a lot of shit. Let me just be honest here. People will talk a lot of shit. Not not like adventure games or anything like that, but like when it comes to like battles, like 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 multiplayer and all that stuff online and shit. People will talk a lot of shit. When it comes to battle royale, multiplayer, ranks, all that stuff, right? I mean, me, I talk a lot of shit on Call of Duty Mobile because I'm a mobile gamer, and I, I'm a streamer myself. I'm a streamer myself. I've been in that situation before. I have done that before. I because I talk a lot of shit, dude. Let's just be honest here. And um, I will t I will take some L's, a lot of L's, but sometimes I will take some W's when it comes to Call of Duty, Mo Mo Ca Call of Duty, Mo Mo Ca Ugh. Call of Duty Mobile as well. But when I remember, I used to play Call of Duty Black Ops online and talk a lot of shit to like, like really, like really like young men, fully young grown men. I will talk a lot of shit and I will say, you're trash, you're absolute dog shit. You talk, you, you, you just say a lot of things. I think I remembered when I was playing Black Ops, I used to play this girl. And, um, she, she, she plays Call of Duty Black Ops on, on Xbox, right? I will tell you a story about it. I think it was around... Three or four years ago, I can't remember. I think I was on the on my early twenties before my late twenties, coming up right now, on my mid twenties, around my mid twenties. So I think I remember. I think I remember I was playing Call of Duty Mobile, um, Call of Duty not Mobile, um, Call of Duty Black Ops, um, um, on, on online, right? My friend, he's a he's a League of Legend player. Oh, I'm not gonna say his name, but. I do remember this girl was playing online and she was on the other team. So I said to myself, you know what? Let's just make her day. Let's just make her day a living hell by not only not shooting her, but stabbing her. Like, you know, like, like, you know, like, like knife games, like, like people get raged or like people keep, get, people getting stabbed all the time. That was me. I did that a little bit. For a little bit. I didn't do it for the stream or anything like that. I just do it. So, I remember I, so I saw her name up. I started stabbing her. And as he was, as he gets so mad. Like, I, I promise you. I will tell you this. Like, like, I'm, like I'm not saying I was not being a dick. But I was making it hilarious. I want to I wanted make it hilarious because I was a huge dick to her. Why like, she keeps stabbing her. A lot, and it was not funny. But she got me back a couple times. But she, um, she, she I, but in, in my mind, she was about to rage so hard. I, I made her. I'm like, I, I was thinking about. I was. I think I did get her rage a, a little bit. But she was like, she was like this. Oh my god! And I'm like, I'm like, I started laughing so hard. I was like, there was no effing way. I can get her mad that easily, and I did. I got her mad so bad. I was like laughing. I was like, and then, then she she was like she was like trying to be all nice and shit. But and but at the end of the day, I made her day hell because I I stabbed her a couple of times and called Duty on Call of Duty Black Ops. 
But these girl gamers that want to play Call of Duty on Warzone, it's a different type of story. Like I said, when it comes to that game, you're going to you're going to experience what they're capable of. And like I said, they're going to talk a lot of shit. Let's just be honest right now. They're going to talk a lot of shit. And trust me, they're not holding back. Let's just be honest here. They are not holding anything back. When you get killed, you're going to realize they're going to say something shit to you. Let's just be honest here. So I've been watching this YouTuber named Easy Switch Sniper. Um, he he was talking about he was talking about girl gamers. He 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 get he did give some details for it, and uh, he he's kind of absolutely right about it. And I mean, in my opinion, he's he 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 does have a point. He does have a point when it comes to gaming, and women are not taking it seriously. But but when it comes to jokes, like oh, go fix me a sandwich. It 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 that's like that's kind of like little kids shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like a little kid shit, but that's just how it is. I mean, in my opinion, that's that's just them. That's them, all right. But but women cannot take it not take it as a joke. They cannot take it as a joke because because they can they can they can smash them. They can shit talk by a bunch of young guys like us. And I'm not saying as a bad thing, but it's just it's just that when you come to this game, you're gonna get trash talked so hard that you're gonna realize you should never play this game ever. In my opinion, like for me, I have to say that Easy Switch Sniper, he's right. He's right. He's absolutely right. Girl gamers should never play Call of Duty ever again because you know what's going to happen. And you realize you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Like, it's not by it's not about sexual sexual by sexual sexuality or anything like anything like that. It's just how the game goes. When you get trash talk, you you're going to you going to expect Something was gonna happen. When it comes to like competitive men like us, we have to like show ourselves to see how we do when it comes to YouTube, Twitch, all that stuff to entertain people and show them if we're good or not. But when it comes to girl gamers like that, it's like a prey. It's like you're gonna have to like tell God that you gotta be you gotta be better. But I don't think you're gonna survive this. Because quite frankly, you're going you know what the answer is. I'm not gonna say it, but like you know the answer to that. But Easy Swiss Sniper, he 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 does have a point and he's telling it facts because he's not lying. And I think that girl gamers needs to learn the facts that Things can be very, very hard and very complicated for a girl gamer to take the lot of trash talking by younger guys and taking a joke and stuff. But at the end of the day, I don't think that girl gamers don't have the experience. Like we do, but they do have experience, but it's just that the trash talking, the taking a joke part and all the things that they have been going through, they're not taking it seriously. They just like, they get hurt so easily. Do I blame the men for toss talking to women on, on gaming? Kind of, but not really, but that's how young guys are. It doesn't matter you're 10 years old to like 30 something years old, they'll still trash talk you or older, dude. They'll trash talk you any type of way, dude. 
And I think that Easy uh, Easy Swiss Nice is he is the most honest person I think of. Think that he is right. He is right, and I think that he should be the guy to tell the truth when it comes to gaming for girl girl gamers because quite frankly, girl gamers don't know what they're getting themselves into. And I think that. It's going to be bad, but at the end of the day, it's it's going to get a lot worse. Let's just be honest here right now. But um, what do you guys think about the girl g gaming situation? Because when it, comes to co when it comes to like competitive things, you're going to get trash talked by a lot of people. And you do not want to be involved in that situation and getting yourself into but what do you guys think about it? Do you guys like it? Or do you do you like it or dislike it? Uh, please comment down below what do you guys think. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the podcast anyway. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch, by the way. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.